Hey everybody, Cypherboy here with a playthrough of The Sims 3 for PS3. So, the household I'm playing right now is the land grab household. And the guy with the silver hair and the black jacket, this one is Clarence, uh, land grab. His older brother is Malcolm land grab, and Malcolm had stolen his inheritance, so it slapped him alone. Uh, I mean, it slapped him with no um, money whatsoever. And so he bought what little bit he had left with his sons. He had um, bought a plot of land, so they're going to build up and try to regain their finances. And you can see there's nothing on the land except for the mailbox and the trash can. So let's see. Uh, so, um, Clarence, he is um, unemployed. All of them are unemployed at this point. I'm just now starting the game. Um, I did create them beforehand, though. So his traits is bookworm, clumsy. He's a snob coming from a rich. A rich and he's ambitious, so that'll help him up in his political career. And then charismatic. His favorites are classical, lobster, thermid thermidor, and blue. And biography, the younger brother of Malcolm Landgrab. Malcolm has stolen all of Clarence's inheritance, leaving Clarence with nothing. So, his wife's name was Victoria, but she's not in the picture anymore because in the story she died. So let's go over to Harper, no, Trevor Landgrab first. He's brave, he's a kleptomaniac, mean spirited, genius, and neurotic. And these are the three favorites. Like the others in his family, Trevor has had his fortune stolen. He takes it out on others by stealing from them. He's the younger brother. Let's see. He wants to become master thief. And let's go to the next brother. He's the firstborn. No, I guess in this one, Trevor's the let firstborn, but I didn't plan it that way. The traits are neurotic, dislikes children, hot-headed, light sleeper, athletic, and it's funny because Connor over there is his son, and then the son of Clarence and Victoria. His part of the inheritance has been stolen. As a result, he has to move in with his father I guess I messed up on the biography, but I don't think I can fix that father until he builds his fortune back up. So let's select to view. Okay, let's do that real quick. So there's Clarence, there's Harper, and then his brother Trevor, and then Connor is his son, and then for uh, Trevor, let's go to there. So Lilith is his spouse, and she was Lilith Goth, and they have a daughter, Ariana Landgrab. Oh, like before I started, I thought there were eight um, slots for family members. I didn't know there were six of them, so I had given Trevor a second son, like a child, and then I gave Clarence his wife, um, Victoria, but there wasn't room for them, so I had to pick and choose which ones to go with. So I pretty much gave um, Lilith some of Victoria's things. So let's, where were they? Oh, Symology, that's what I was looking for. So Lilith is the wife of Trevor. She is from the Goth family. She does her best to provide for the family. 
and her traits are artistic, friendly, frugal, family oriented, and light sleeper. For Ariana's, hers are neat, computer whiz, hopeless romantic, ambitious. Ariana is the daughter of Trevor and Lilith. She has a computer whiz. She enjoys writing and computers. So I plan on having these. I don't have a lifetime risk for her yet. So, for this game, I was thinking um, like a rags to riches type of thing since they have their inheritance. Although, down at the bottom, it shows 20,000. So, I'm going to use those few funds to do a house, but I'm going to do a like a one bedroom house for now so let's go into the build mode that was there we go open catalog and let's buy no build first so we need um let's see floors no not yet foundations and desk decks that's what i wanted so I'm going to have them have a little uh, deck to get into the house with. Um, I'll probably make this part a little pathway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's have the foundation start here confirm okay and I want to actually get rid of um, let's see sledgehammer let's get rid of this one here so I can build a little stairway here That, okay, so that's a good start. So let's do the stairs next. Um, which one do I want though? Let's do here. Let's do the cheapest everything so far, and then. There we go. Now let's get rid of auto railing. Oops, let's do undo that. Okay, it's not letting me for some reason, but let's do that. Okay. I guess I'll need a sledgehammer for this part here. to get I'm not used to this game as far as building goes okay it's not letting me okay there we go so let's open the catalog again and select that one take care take that off and then undo why is it doing that to me um, let's do that auto railings off okay one stair r2 is that what I need to there we go that's better Then, um, yeah, I guess I cannot have, oh, here it is right there. Let's do the cheap one there. There we go. And 
now for the walls. Let's do create a wall. Start off over here. Probably do a little bit of something to where it gives a small bathroom. So cannot intersect that one. So let's okay. So it looks like I need to do it from here. Let's do sledgehammer once more and then the wall. this game you can actually have two story houses which is pretty cool um, let's see do I want to have a porch area I do but maybe later so let's go ahead and do a door okay this cheap little thing here It looks like that cannot do it because at that point because of the mailbox there. Okay, so we need to go back to the stairs. Get another of these. Yeah, let's do auto railings for that. Let's see if I don't want it way up there though. Trying to get it to where. Here, let's do. No, I want it like that. Those people are probably in the way, so that's that might be why it's not letting me do it from the front. So let's do that instead. Maybe do a second one there for now. Okay, let's get rid of that. So I need to have walls, wall coverings, let's do siding, just do a continuous area that, no I don't like that one, this one will be a lot better, perfect. So that's good. And they need to have at least one window. So let's do a large window up at the front here to let in some light. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get as much money out of them as possible. So. Another one here and one more over here. Perhaps one at this side. I think that over here can be a, like a small bathroom area. Or a kitchen area. No, kitchen. Like a small kitchenette for now. Okay, we do need to have a roof though. So let's do that. Roof types. Let's go with the basic gable roof. Let's do auto roof. That's good. There we go. Perfect, I think. Okay, now we need to furnace. No, let's do one more wall for the bathroom. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so let's do one room or one wall. 
maybe have it somewhere like really awkward like right here I think that'll be good don't know what to have in that little thing but I probably can think of it something to do okay wall coverings and let's do wallpaper maybe something kind of ugly since I'm trying to do it to where mm. uh, let's see maybe undo that yeah I haven't built very much in this game before, so still getting used to what all is in there. Maybe for the wallpaper we can actually try to make it look good for such a small space and that would probably be best and just use that as a continuous type of thing. So let's see. Um, it's not bad, but I don't really like it too much. Okay, let's go with the floor covering now. I want to say carpet for some of it. That thing is pretty ugly. Let's... Yeah, let's go with something different from that. Maybe wood, actually. Look for a nice wood. Um, something kind of light though, because I don't want it to be 